In Entebbe town, many walls on many buildings have been turned into campaigning spaces for politicians. Electricity poles and fences have not been spared either. What is noticeable though is that many posters have been torn and vandalized. Madina Zaruango, who is aspiring for the Entebbe parliamentary seat on NRM ticket, has had her posters vandalized. She accuses her opponents of masterminding the plot to remove her posters. Our people, our fellow candidates have chosen to deprive our people of that opportunity to vote for the right candidate of their choice. When you tear a poster out there, first you hurt Zaruango because these posters cost money. I reached out to two of her opponents. One, the incumbent MP Rose to Muzime and Stuart Ruwama standing on the National Unity Platform ticket. I think I want to blame candidates because we as candidates give instructions to the people going to hang our posters and therefore we can also equally give instructions for them not to destroy what we have found hung. But we have seen people telling us that people come in cars and they are dropped. They pluck down our posters. The question of who is really behind the defacement remains, but in Kitoro, I want to know what one boutique owner whose shop walls are full of paper thinks. The people here do not admit or deny tearing up politicians' posters, but are not happy that their consent is sought beforehand. The politicians admit that they do not advise their teams about where to stick posters since their stiff competition for visibility. Sometimes we don't guide them. And uh, each camp is definitely looking for visibility. And sometimes they don't even know that it is not right for you to cover somebody's advert. You could find that the person whose business you've put this poster on does not support or does not agree necessarily with your candidacy. According to Entebbe Municipal Council, there is no clear regulation on campaign posters unlike advertising for businesses. Uh, the, the, the guidelines we have are in regard to uh, people advertising for business, advertising for uh, public shows. Some politicians say it should be the work of the municipal council to advise the people where to put up posters. They also blame the electoral commission for not doing enough to sensitize people about criminality behind the illegal actions. The facing of posters is actually criminal. It's criminal. It was, it's one of those criminal uh, offenses that that are looked at during the electoral process. So we would like to encourage the public to desist from defacing posters, from attacking candidates. Kamara Ivan Walnyolo, NTV.